So what is up guys? This is Nick here from Everything Tech and welcome to this video of the iPhone SE, the latest Apple beast out of Apple Camps as of this recording, April 5th, 2016 versus the Samsung's 2014 golden child, the Samsung Galaxy S5. Now, right out the gate, I know this is a rather unique and odd comparison, and nobody really probably is cross-shopping these devices, but you might actually be cross-shopping these devices because you can get a Samsung Galaxy S5 now used for around 250 to 300 new. Uh, if you get it like uh, used, like on a used market, probably like 150 to 200. And then somebody's like, well, maybe I have 200 more bucks. I can get me that little blazing fast SE because I've always wanted an iPhone or should I just get that Galaxy? So this might serve for that reason. But basically in this video, all we're going to do is do some like boot up tests, some speed tests, and just kind of give you a general look and just talk a, a bit about how these stack up next to each other. So let's just talk a little bit about specs really quickly. I don't like to talk about specs too much. Both have fingerprint scanners down here. This is a swipe mechanism. This is touch ID, so you just hold your finger there and it goes in. iPhone is a better fingerprint scanner, although if you do learn how to get this right, this works pretty much eight, to ten, eight out of 10 times each time. This is an 1136 by 640 display. I believe that's the correct. It's a retina display. It's not even HD, so you're not even getting 720p here. This is a 1080p full HD super AMOLED screen with high contrast ratios, which makes it a very pleasing display to look at. This has a plastic design on the back and it has a heart rate monitor and a 16 megapixel camera with I believe a 2.1 aperture. If that's wrong, I will like leave that in the caption or something. But it does have a speaker grill down here. And uh, this is a fully waterproof device here on the Samsung Galaxy S5. And it does have an IR blaster for TV remote control. Now on the iPhone, you do have a 12 megapixel camera here, the same from the 6S, which is definitely a great camera, but I don't think it's uh, better than this camera. Uh, this is 16 megapixels. You might think it is, but trust me, this camera picks up more detail than this iPhone's camera right here. This has a um, dual LED flash, so the flash is better. And then this has a 1.2 megapixel front facing camera, but that's pretty much all we need to know in the specs department. Two gigabytes of RAM, 1.8 gigahertz dual core, this is a 2.5 gigahertz quad core Snapdragon 805, I believe. Like I say, I don't know all the exact numbers. If I'm wrong on some of these little estimations, I will caption them out. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much all you need to know. This is two gigabytes of RAM as well. So let's get into this boot up test real quickly. And when I when it is done booting up, we will be back or I'll just speed this up real quick here. So you can see that the Samsung Galaxy S5 did in fact beat the iPhone SE in terms of the boot up speed, which is quite shocking as this is the Apple A9. But you know, some people might be like, no, it's not shocking because the Samsung S5 was one beast of an Android device. And I would have to agree. Although plenty of people, obviously from my last video don't agree, but hey, if you don't know how to mess with Android, you don't know how to manage it, then you will get a laggy Samsung device. You just got to know what you're doing in that terms. And how do you know what you're doing? Well, just do a couple Google searches and learn how to manage the device and your Android will last forever. I'm not trying to say that, you know, that you, your Samsung won't get laggy, you won't get a lemon. You may get a lemon, but as long as you, you know, clear out the cache, you know, I have a video on this as well, how to make your Android faster. You can go ahead and check that video up in the card up here. You will have a pretty speedy phone, but basically let's just get connected to the same Wi-Fi network real quick. And uh, I'll come back once we're connected to the Wi-Fi network and we'll do the application test. So we're here and we're both connected to the same Wi-Fi network. And um, we're gonna show you that on this device, the iPhone SE, we are running iOS 9.3.1 here, just to verify as the filming of this video, because this might, by the time you see this, it may be at a different version. So there we are. And on the Samsung Galaxy S5 here, we are running the Android version. Let's see what we're running here. The, I believe it's 5.1.1. 
and you could see, yes, yeah, 5.1.1 a lollipop, which is not the latest Marshmallow 6.0.1, but it is pretty close to the latest kind of Android device you're gonna get. So let's make sure that everything is closed on both devices before we get started with this app test. And you could see things were open, so let's close those out. And uh, let's just do some system-based apps because I like to do the system-based apps because they're more fair, I believe, than some of the other applications because those aren't optimized from developers exactly the same way. So let's go to settings. And you can see that looked about even. But if you see something that looks quicker on one of the devices, drop those down below in the comments. Let's go to calculator. And you can see that look quicker on the SE. Let's go back home. And then uh, let's open up camera. You could see the SE fired that one a lot quicker, actually. So a lot quicker on the SE here. Let's go into the internet browser and let's head over to apple.com. So let's get that fired up real quicky. And uh, here we go. Let's see who gets there first. iPhone SE there, a lot quicker, actually, in this test. I don't know what's going on here. I guess that was just, you know, a lot quicker on the SE. So browsing was quicker on that test. But let's do another one just to make sure that was fair. Because I don't know if that Samsung was just cold boot or something. We're going to have to see. Let's do uh, CNET.com. These are just some tech websites, you know, to read if you love technology. Let's go to CNET.com. And you can see, once again, the iPhone is quicker. So you're going to get a better browsing experience on the iPhone. Now let's just kind of multitask. Through. I actually tried to hit a multitask button on the iPhone. Doesn't even exist. Okay, let's go to Safari. And you can see that was open quicker on the iPhone. Once again, the camera is open quicker. So the iPhone SE is definitely a quicker device here than the Samsung Galaxy S5. Although, once again, I don't think it is, you know, so much quicker that it's going to justify the cost increase over the S5. And the S5 screen, hands down, annihilates the SE hands down there's no comparison um, the camera on the s5 doesn't annihilate the se but i believe it is a bit better from the back the front facing camera is better on the se let's just go to youtube and see which one can open the application in a video first so you can see right there looks like the se is there first let's go to my channel and uh let's just see the first video the iphone se unboxing and first impressions video if you're self-employed, you're probably keeping so track ad of the advertisements. So your Let's get through these advertisements. So that looks about even for both of them. So, you know, no big deal here on either of the devices. Now let's just kind of, are we, we actually already did that multitasking. But let's just kind of see how the speed is. So this is really quick on the SE going through here. That pretty much is going to wrap this video up. I don't want to get too long here. And uh, what's the moral of this video? Well, if you got an S5 and you were thinking about updating to an SE, um, if you want an Apple device and you don't want to spend through the roof, I could say it would be a cool update, but I think you're going to be losing a lot going from this to this. And uh, I don't think you'll be gaining a lot if you're trying to go from SE to this, but I don't know who would be doing that. But if you're going to get an SE, you're probably not even looking at an S5. But I thought this was a little fun, you know, unique comparison that not many people are doing. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead, leave a thumbs up down below. If you didn't like it, there's also a thumbs down. But if you decide to be a little troll, say why, you're leaving it a thumbs down. But if you are just leaving it a thumbs down because you generally just dislike it, please go ahead and leave some constructive feedback. And I will catch you guys all in the next episode. Be well and peace.